Bain & Co. this week estimated that the wave of AI infrastructure spending will require $2 trillion in annual AI revenue uh, by 2030. That is more than the combined 2024 revenue of Amazon, Apple, Alphabet, Microsoft, Meta, and NVIDIA, and more than five <laughs> times the size of the entire global subscription software market. I wanted to build on what Brian said about um, the investment here as sort of a FOMO. You have to do it or else you're in trouble. There's one big difference in this versus other uh, what are called speculative bubbles, uh, which is that we don't have as much retail investor problems this time yet. Um, in the dot-com bubble in particular, one of the biggest problems was that people felt they could invest as retail investors or even institutional investors in these stocks and they would instantly make money because they were constantly going up. And that was a real problem for a lot of companies. Whereas right now, uh, obviously, we have high flying stocks, but Google's worth a couple trillion dollars anyway, whether they're, they're over investing in AI or not, probably at this point today is not going to take a trillion dollars off their their market cap. If we get to the point where these these stocks are becoming investment vehicles, but because people perceive it as no lose, as it will pay off no matter what, I'm going to you know put a mortgage on the house to buy NVIDIA shares. Um, I think that's when we get into the really dangerous territory. 